Norman, women can be tricky. And you have such a good heart. There's something wrong with me. You're here and you see things that aren't there. She's trying to seduce you. You know what you have to do. Stop! Norman, what happened? I don't remember. Everything is good. <sighs> This season lifts straight away from where we left events at Miss Watson's house. Miss Watson's death, it's a very interesting take on a murder mystery. Norman's obsessed with her death. I need you to tell me what happened that night. I don't really remember. That mother-son relationship I don't think has ever been explored. The notion that your child can potentially be a monster. You spend your days taking apart dead animals. That's just a little weird. Norman has another blackout death, that growing sense of intrigue as to what actually happens during these blackouts. I've never seen anyone go into a hole like that. You were, like, not there. Base Motel is bigger in season two and more dramatic. You need to send a message to your boss for me. It becomes really dangerous. There is a war going on between these two families. Dylan is right in the middle of the crossfire. At this point, it's like in survival mode. He's trying to stay out of being the next person that gets put in the ground. Our goal as storytellers is tell an original story. If viewers think they have Bates Motel figured out, they're wrong. Stop it! This is not sane! The twists and turns set in motion these weird storylines. More bedlam, more pandemonium, more passion. She's lying! Can't you see it? There is humor and wonderful, wacky character moments. Do you know anything about blackouts? That's what makes Bates Motel. Is there anything else you haven't told me? No. You know everything now. I know something about you, Norma Bates. That's the kind of girl that can get you in trouble. The antidepressants have been very helpful. No! I'm not letting you leave! Get away from the damn door! I'm here. I'll always be here.